everybody, Vic here, and I'm uh, playing uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, the uh, brand new uh, Call of Duty. And uh, as you can see here, this is a uh, interesting experience. Uh, we're playing multiplayer, and many of you guys, if you've ever played this game, you might get frustrated like I certainly was when I was getting like maybe one or two kills per match and it was just like frustrating and frustrating and frustrating and so I found a whole bunch of videos on the internet and I sort of had this gift of being able to take hours of information and distilling it into a few minutes so I'm just going to give you brass tacks of how you can really start to succeed in uh, with a couple of tips it really comes down to the best weapon um, You'll need to play a little bit to get started, and uh, I'm going to probably make an introductory video using the default weapon that you get when you first start in Call of Duty, but chances are most of you guys will be watching this video. Um, as you can see, I'm not really a die-hard Call of Duty player. I, I die a lot, um, but that's one of the first tips I want to share with you is, is that the best players I notice is that they don't really care so much about dying. They just focus on getting as many... As there, you know, as many Especially in, in the case like, uh, this is a, a domination game. Uh, as you can see here, I'm, I'm uh, using a scope, and let me explain some of the things that, that I think is, is really cool here. Uh, I'm using a thermal scope so I can see the enemies at a distance. Um, and I will be racking up quite a few kills here. See, there you go. There will be someone at a distance, and you know, he, he, it's definitely uh, a distance uh, game. Um, really about seeing someone before they see you. It's like here, I'm, I'm, I'm guarding our waypoint, uh, and we actually gonna win this match. I uh, see there's people trying to get into the waypoint, and I'm guarding it with my thermal scope here. So as they approach, I just take them out. Now this gun is a one-shot kill weapon. It's a three-burst three round. So it is capable of literally aligning, you know, annihilating a, an opponent on a single burst uh, because it fires three shots. Uh, your, your health is around a hundred. Everybody starts with the same amount of health. It doesn't matter how advanced you are. Uh, we'll see that you know pretty much most people have machine guns, and it, it, it takes a few seconds for you to be able to. Uh, to eliminate someone, but with this weapon, pretty much is just one shot. Now, the other thing that's nice about this, it fires off reverse. If you're this is the final mode of movement, I got the last kill of the day. Um, even though I didn't place that well in the leaderboard, I got 12 kills and a pretty hefty match bonus here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is deconstruct exactly how this weapon works. Maybe as my game improves, yours will too. And Please feel the right comments below in this video. There it is. I got 13 kills in uh, less than you know four minutes. And uh, this is the um, soldier. I'm just going to show you real quickly what the soldier looks like. Um, the weapon that I'm using is called the MSBS. Three round burst allows for high damage. Then I added on a tracker sight. Okay, the tracker sight enables me to see. Uh, I can also toggle to an iron sight whenever I need to. Uh, the next thing you want to add is a muzzle brake. What this does is it increases your damage range by 20%. So uh, the, the secret here, guys, is to not use secondary lethals or tacticals. What that does is it frees up your perks. These are all the perks that I use, and I found these and collect these from all over the internet. Ready Up, Stalker, Recon, Fire Tap. Focus and Gambler. Gambler is really, really like a gem. I love that. Is every time you die, it respawns you with a random perk, so you could end up with something that's really, really expensive, like a three, uh, a three-slot perk. Focus is really useful because if you're doing a face-to-face -face battle, uh, you'll do, you'll be able to uh, win that. So, I'm Vic, and my uh, website is uh, bad.